Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watching, I'm glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So today we're talking Christmas memories, right? And it is the Christmas memory collection from Absent Minded Wix. Now, if you recall, Absent Minded Wix did that amazing Halloween collection. There were seven or eight cents in that collection there. And then even they have the two other collections, and then they did the amazing um, old scratch. Uh, 3D candle uh, that they made. So they've got a lot of fun things coming out. They've already done a lot of fun things. Um, but now I am uh, happy to show you guys the Christmas memories collection that they uh, very kindly sent over. And I figured since we're talking Christmas memories and a little bit of retro vibe going on here, I figured I'd show you my latest pickup here from Mr. Christmas. It, Mr. Christmas was huge back in the day, back in the early 90s. You'd go into Sears, man, when I was a kid, you'd go into Sears and they had all the animated um, Santas climbing the ladder. They had the bears that played the bear band. Then they brought in the Disney Disney licensed products there. Um, they had the awesome uh, lawn sculptures, right? So this is uh, this stuff from Aldi, actually. So it has different radio stations on it here. This is your North Pole weatherman, Blizzard Bob, reporting live from the front steps of Santa's workshop. Santa. We are predicting over 100 inches of snow, and we are currently Okay, showing... it's 2020. I get that we're going to get a lot of snow, but 100 inches of snow? Okay, we'll leave that over there for a second. So, anyhow, I just wanted to show you that since we're talking Christmas memories here. And I do have my hot cocoa to go along with this here. So, show off these six candles. And I have the wax melts to go along with them here. Red wax, guys. So red wax this time. So the first one we have here is Christmas Eve. Checking it twice. Gingerbread treats. A favorite for everyone, I think. Peppermint mocha. Ooh. Christmas time is here. And last, but certainly not least, eggnog. Now, the scents, like I said, they also come in wax melts with coordinating uh, labels. And they're in that retro green wax. So we have that kind of like retro red and green going on here, um, which I certainly enjoy very, very much for all the people who enjoy the traditional look of the holiday. So... Not really going to talk about the wax ones. They smell the exact same, um, but just know they are. What are they? How many? Two ounces, I think. Uh, Two point five ounces. Okay, and it's like a six pack of each. And I have a code for it at the end, so stick around for that. So let's get into it here. So let's talk about. Oh, and they upgrade and they're all nine ounces. So they're all nine ounce uh, candles this time. Before they were like eight to eight point four ounces. They're all nine ounces using that same ribbon wick. Okay, it's not a um, crackling wick, it's just a regular wood wick and a, a regular cotton ribbon wick, not a wood wick there. So this is Christmas Eve. I really enjoy this one. Um, this is your, your fur, your orange peel, um, your citrus, the ginger, um, this is your winter-like candle. If you're a fan of winter from Bath & Body Works, this is a very uh, similar a cousin to that candle. So you do get that sparklingness there, um, effervescent almost. Sounds like orange, effervescent orange with the fur, what have you. So that is Christmas Eve. We'll go over here. Next, we'll go with checking it twice. Now, is there any other news on here? Yeah, just don't um, burn for more than four hours. By the way, these are handmade, hand poured um, out in Montana. So, uh, this is a small business. And, you know, this year, especially this year, we need to be supporting our local small businesses, um, any kind of small business, if we can, you know. Um, I know one of the things that will, <sighs> turns people off during the Halloween time here was the shipping cost. And they have 
um, modify the shipping to be a flat rate over like 25 bucks, I think. So over $25, there is a flat shipping. And plus my discount code will help you out there as well. Um, bring the cost down to get more product. So um, just wanted to let you guys know that if you're hesitant at all. So checking it twice. This is your berry scent. Um, I'm not one for berry scents, okay? But this is like your your uh, current, your red current, um, cranberry almost. Uh, just different kinds of fruity berries um, in here. And there's a power soy wax, nice and soft here. It's not super heavy on the fruity berries, but it's, they're crimson berries maybe. Um, if you like berry scents, check that out. Check out the labels. I mean, I've always been a very uh, fan of the labels and especially the quality of, of the labels. Oh, let's go to eggnog. Eggnog. Now, what I like about this, it's not overly boozy. There are certain companies that put out candles that have eggnog in them, Grand Marnier, um, and that they come out way too boozy, and I do not want to get drunk off a candle, okay? That's not not me. You know, if you like boozy candles, I'll tell you a couple of boozy candles you can go get. Um, but to me, this is not boozy. It just gives you that feel like you are drinking eggnog from a moose mug, and tell me you know what a moose mug is, please. Um, I can quote that movie all day long. So you have your buttered rum in here. You have your milk, um, cinnamon, very nice, sweet cinnamon, not a bakery cinnamon on here, not a red hot cinnamon. Um, and cinnamon stick too, but the picture really tells you what it is. It's the eggnog with the really nice, sweet cinnamon on top. Stir it all in, sit back, put on a Hallmark movie, or a Christmas Vacation, or Home Alone, um, or any of the Santa Claus movies, and just chill out. My recommendation. Okay. Christmas time is here. Obviously, I had the quote from the song, okay? Uh, we do have some vintage, vintage feel on this. All right, apple, cinnamon, tree, cedar. Okay, because it's a, a warm, it's almost a smokiness going on in here, like from a fireplace, but not overly smoky. And that could kind of almost be implied. Um, this just smells, now obviously I was not alive in the 50s, but I've seen pictures Okay, tinsel tree, color changing disc. This is what I would imagine your house would smell like in the 50s, putting tinsel on the tree or decorating your metallic tree with that whatever kind of, um, back in the day, I think they, whatever fire, fire hazards they could put on the tree, I think they put on the tree. Um, but I could just imagine sitting back, listening to a radio, looking like, it looks like this, in this color, um, smelling that. So that is what I get from this. Right. Now, I'm not saying these next two are my favorites, but they certainly deserve, deserve a lot of attention. Um, we'll go with this one first here. I love me everything gingerbread. So gingerbread treats here. So there's two kinds, and I said this, I've said this in other videos when I talk about gingerbread. There's two kinds of gingerbread. There's the super spicy gingerbread, like the, the heavy, dark, um, like rich uh, gingerbread. Then you have the lighter, fluffier gingerbread, right? So we have the heavy and dark, lighter and fluffier. And one almost goes like, the darker kind of goes really ginger snap, ginger heavy. Whereas the lighter one's a little fluffier, 
and it has the nice sweetness from the icing going on. And this one, again, meets in the middle. Okay, I have another can I'll talk about, probably talk about from another company that also kind of meets in the middle. And I appreciate that. Because it's just true to going to your bakery, going to your Christmas market, if, if you have one, um, German Christmas market, what have you, and you get a gingerbread man, gingerbread man, or a woman, or gingerbread dog, whatever they make these days. Um, you just take a bite out of it, right? And it's not hard. It's the gingerbread man, like, it bends a little bit, like when you go to break his leg off. Um, it bends, it doesn't snap, okay? That's where this kind of goes. So you get that nice gingerbread with a little bit of the icing and the candy on top. So this one, I cannot wait. Cannot wait to get this going. All right, and last but not least, I have a cup of hot cocoa here. Peppermint mocha. Peppermint mocha is back at Starbucks. I almost went to six bucks to get one just to talk about this, but. Oh man. This is authentic peppermint mocha from Starbucks. Authentic. Um, man, uh, if you like the smell of candy canes, peppermint, mocha, coffee, hot chocolate, milk, all the above, that is exactly, exactly what we have going on here. Um, this is like a really, gonna be a really good candle to burn like in the morning. Like if you're just around the house for a few hours and you wake up a little groggy, light this up, put it in the kitchen, go about your routine in the house, supervision required for burning candles, of course. Um, but just let this aroma, uh, fill the, fill the room, fill the kitchen, you know, these candles are not going to fill your house. Okay. They'll tell you that anyone will tell you that they're going to, they're going to do really well but they're not gonna fill three floors of your house. Maybe, but um, now they do have some other stuff coming out. That's really strong from what I hear. So stand by, watch my Instagram, watch their Instagram, and you'll see some fun stuff coming out there. So love this candle, love it, love it, love it. That is on point there. And I'll just show you the wax mounts just for the back of it. Here's a gingerbread, the eggnog. The peppermint mocha. Christmas time is here. There we go. My singing is horrible. Uh, checking it twice. Last but not least, Christmas Eve. So, all right. So the code fifteen percent off. PCM fifteen. I'll put it up here. Okay. Um, I'm not sure when that's good, but that's good for uh, everything on the site. So, candles are twenty three. I think wax melts are five. Like I said, there is a flat rate shipping option now available. Um, so, curious to see. Oh, I gotta show this off here. If we're talking about having eggnog with, I'm talking about eggnog, having eggnog inside of a moose mug, well, we can't not just forget the movie here. This is the Christmas vacation ornament from Hallmark this year. By the way, let's talk about this packaging real quick. It's horrible. It is absolutely horrible what they did to the packaging this year. Um, usually it's the full, the picture, the front of the box is the full image here. It said it's super tiny. So either they're trying to, I don't know what they're doing. It's just horrendous. Um, Hallmark dropping the ball here. But um, if you don't know this scene, uh, this is, I'm not gonna quote the line because it can be, kind of uh, inappropriate there, but basically uh, this is the second tree he's bringing to the house. And Margo and Todd wanna know where they're going to put the tree. So I will leave that there. Um, so <laughs> thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see y'all real soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, I'll see you soon.